Hello everyone and welcome back to some more Salvation Adventures in Catherine. So last time we reached the cathedral, which should mean that we're saved now. We, we, there, nothing wrong could ever happen to us ever again, and we're not going to have any more nightmares. So if that's so, why the hell are we still here? Why are we not watching the ending and the credits? Well, I guess let's find out. Let's uh, start off by drinking. I guess it's the first thing we do every time, and we have no friends, so there we go. Okay, that's pretty cool. Steve was chill. Does that mean the rumor about the nightmares is actually real? I have no idea, Manuel. Ugh, I mean, you do remember the nightmares now, don't you? Because I, I, I think they now they keep their memories. I don't know why they didn't before, but suddenly when he met Steve Del Holm, the sheep and uh, watch him die. Now I think he kept the memory. We'll see, we'll see though. I know this is sudden, but here's some trivia for you, as you seem to have finished your glass. Okay. Liquor is usually consumed for the purposes of getting drunk, but some cocktails exist for the opposite reason. Oh, really? One such cocktail is the prairie oyster, made to fix hangovers. The recipe is Worcestershire sauce, tomato juice, vinegar, pepper, and a raw egg. Does that even work? It's meant to be swallowed in a single gulp so that the yolk remains unbroken. Um, what does that do exactly? Like, <laughs> what is the point of swallowing it, like, without breaking the yolk? What effect does that reach? Who thought this up in the first place? Yeah, <laughs> that is a great question, man. That's the cocktail trivia for tonight. Ah, cool. Okay. Empty. Erica, I need a drink. Take your order. One thing that annoys me slightly is uh, that his default drink is the cocktail. So we are forced to every night hear some trivia about the cocktails. I mean, he could. It could be random. That would be better. That would be a better implementation of this system, in my opinion. We are going to go with. Uh, the sake this time. Sake. Mm-hmm. Sorry to keep you waiting. It may be your fault, but what's tough is tough. I'll treat you to a drink. Hope you rest easy tonight. Hey, that's so nice of her. Okay, well, let's continue getting smashed. Mm. I'm not the only one acting up. This isn't good. Actually, I, I went and had drinks with some friends on Friday. I mean, it's, uh, it's what, Wednesday now? Yeah, it's Wednesday now. It had been a while, it was pretty fun. I almost had forgotten how, uh, how cool, well, how cool. <laughs> I mean, how nice it is to drink sometimes. I don't drink a lot, or very often. And if you're not of a drinking age, you should not drink either. But uh, if, you, if you are and you enjoy the such things, it, it's, it can be interesting if you're with friends. Never got into a mess like this. And one more. I know this is sudden, but here's some trivia about Japanese sake. Now that you've emptied your sake cup. In Japan, a common phrase to describe a drunk person is drunk as dirt. Do you know where this phrase comes from? I have no idea. The dirt in this case isn't actual dirt. A bug that appears in old Chinese tales is called a day and uses the same character as dirt in Japanese. Ah, I see. They live in water, and when they walk on land, they stagger about like a drunkard. Ah, that's pretty cool. And that was the trivia for tonight. Empty? You still want a drink? No, I'm good. No, I'm cool. All right, well, now that we have no friends to talk to, let's get up and see who else is at the bar here. There's a couple I don't remember seeing. Well, I, I did talk to them earlier, but uh, they're not, I mean, one of the main, <laughs> this is not going to sound good, but one of the main secondary characters of the game, so I don't really know. Hey, let's celebrate our one month anniversary. <laughs> yeah, you want to go somewhere nice? No, I'll cook. I'll make my famous burgers. 
It's okay, honey. Let me treat you to something nice. Don't worry. I won't get any hair in the patties this time. <laughs> I don't think I've celebrated an anniversary with her in a while. What kind of hair did you get in the patties? Okay. And you sure love anniversaries. You have to remember the good times. Life is too short. Are you gonna do this every month? <laughs> when we first started dating, it used to be like this. Okay, well, that's nice. Um, who else is at the bar? No one, I guess only the twins. I we never talked to them, so I guess why not? Would you like to speak to Lindsay? Would you like to speak to Martha? <laughs> I'll tell you a wonderful story. Over 70,000 people die of unknown causes every year in this country. Only 5% of those deaths become clear after an autopsy. Huh? Okay. These current deaths are part of the remaining 95%. There are probably more men who are dying in that way than we are being told. I'm excited for tomorrow. Tomorrow? Tomorrow? What's going to happen tomorrow? Mr. Morgan blamed himself. Mr. Todd blamed himself. Mr. Archie blamed himself. Mr. Daniel blamed himself. Miss Anna blamed herself. Mr. Justin blamed himself. But is there any human without sin? That is a great question. Let's see what mill we got. Oh, congratulations from the Midnight Venus for beating the seventh level. Pretty cool. All right, well, let's get up. Uh, apparently that couple just left. No one else is here. Um, I assume, uh, sure, I guess, uh, well, we could check the bathroom just uh, to make sure and, uh, and uh, check the mirror and see if we have anything in store for us because, I mean, we shouldn't have any more climbing sections, so there should be no more bosses, right? What the crap could he mean? Because, I mean, we're done, we're reaching the cathedral. What the hell are you talking about, man? Also, there was someone with a knife. Like a hand with a knife. What could that mean? I mean, do we have one more climbing section? Well, I guess we're gonna find out. Um, let's go check the... the murders. Continuing our coverage of the mysterious weakening deaths. Anthony Jackson, age 29, has been found dead today. Steve Dello, age 42. Steve, the sheep in my dreams voice on the phone I think that concludes our coverage for now now on to the local weather report we're in for some rain starting tomorrow afternoon make sure you've got your umbrella after the commercial break will well you want to know something I'm really really glad that none of the people that are regulars at the bar here were announced as dead today because in my practice file Daniel died and I was wondering what I did wrong I still have no idea because I I believe I did pretty much the same thing in that file as I did in this one, but apparently this game is going better. I don't, I don't understand. Let's talk to the boss here, Mr. Uh, Stan Lee. Are you all right? You look quite tired. I brought this shit upon myself. It's okay. I settled things. Wine, women, and dice. Those are the three woes. To reel off a recitation from a certain someone. Well, liquor is the closest I've got to any of those. So... Drink up. Yeah. Thanks. Okay, we got a message from Catherine. Hey, how are you, Vincent? I went to your apartment this afternoon. I thought we'd be able to finally talk. Since it's the weekend, but you weren't there. You're at work, right? Um, I actually know for a fact that uh, because we broke up with Catherine with a C, all of the answer possibilities for this text message are nice so all of them will push them to the law side of things and i don't want that because in order for us to get the the ending that we're aiming at which is the true bad ending not bad to true catherine with a c ending we it, it's required that you're at the max chaos part of the meter and i i'm not sure if we're exactly at the like at the very edge of the meter at this point. Hopefully we are, because I don't think we're gonna have any more opportunities to to affect it. Uh, let's keep talking to the boss, I guess. The human heart is a difficult thing. How long in woman lasts the fire of love? 
If I or touch do not relight it often, to take the thoughts from a certain someone. Who the hell is that certain someone? This time it would be Dante, I believe. Anyway, even if it looks like it's burning hot now, the fire in the heart of a woman may just flicker out over time. Look, it'll be all right. I just can't think straight today. Uh, uh, it's late. I don't feel well. I guess I should go home. Sure, I guess we could go home. Um, since there's no one else at the bar, I guess I'm just gonna finish talking to the boss and Erica, and then we're gonna leave. The cat has nine lives, and the woman has the life of nine cats. Or so the saying goes. Women must be strong. I don't know. Today's just. That's a nice saying. How about you, Erica? What do you think? You know Feather, the wrestlette? She's on a losing streak because of the injury she took in a previous match. Hmm. Really? I didn't think you followed that sport. I don't really. But you haven't been making any bets recently. That's because the only thing other people are betting on is women's wrestling. I don't really enjoy seeing women beating on each other like that. Oh, is that why? So I was worried about you for nothing. Well, it's not like I have any money either. Hmm, so she's into women's wrestling. I actually never watched that women's wrestling. Okay. I guess it could be a very underground sport, I suppose. Man, once you start watching women's pro wrestling, it's hard to stop. Powerful women are so cool. I wonder if I could get in. Uh, that's impossible. Oh, I think I'm pretty strong. Yeah, but they wouldn't let you join in the first place. <laughs> Funny. Funny, because I know why that is. Anyway, so what do we get? Um, the Experience Enigma. What is this? Is going through the stages of the nightmares proving to be unsatisfying? You can earn prizes by finishing the stages with a high score. The gold prize is the best. If you don't go for the gold, you'll never be able to experience every level in the challenging Babel Arena. That is correct. There's more to earning a high score than speeding through the stages. You need to pick up coins along the way. Good luck. Well, thank you for that. I, I knew that, but hey, okay, that's cool, man. Well, and now we're done. So we're going to head on home. And today's session is going to be a little more story-centric than uh, climbing-centric. So th there's going to be a lot of cutscenes. So, um... Hey, you really don't look good. Let me call you a cat. So just, just grab a beverage, something nourishing, and just stand back if you appreciate the story of the game, which, is hap which just happens to be very, very good. And uh, let's get on with this. I'm fine. Let's keep... Uh, let's go home. It's okay. I look bad, but I have a feeling I'll be able to sleep well tonight. Yeah, I'm sure. Sorry for causing a lot of trouble. Apologize to the boss for me. <laughs> See ya. Now to make sure we have no nightmares. I mean, we should be saved, correct? Something different should happen tonight. Possibly we're gonna have a very well-